the Rochester Police Department making an arrest in the city's 80th homicide. Police say 25-year-old Walt Quarries Evans was shot and killed on Orchard Street Sunday night. This morning, Derek Gunter was arraigned in court, the main suspect in Evans' death. Christian Garzone joining us now in the newsroom with more on this. Christian. Well, Adam, the DA's office says the death of Evans is yet another tragedy for another family in the city. Derek Gunter was arraigned on charges of murder in Evans' shooting death and possession of a weapon used in the assault killing. Christopher Bockelman with the DA's office says at this time there does not seem to be any solid relationship between Evans and Gunter. Police believe Evans was having an argument with a person near School 17 before this shooting took place. He says this was some kind of, of dispute that went very wrong very quickly. The Rochester Fire Department also added today that Evans was a survivor of an arson fire on Grape Street in the city back in 2012. They called his actions that day heroic, jumping out of a second story window. Four children died in that fire and the mother was charged with arson. He suffered serious burns as a result. Now from surviving one tragedy to being shot to death in another, Bockelman says this is a very tough time for the family. They were there for the arraignment this morning. With this being Rochester's deadliest year on record, quite a few leaders have said this cannot be the norm and something needs to change. One is too many. Um, there's a point where um, Frustration, anger, sadness um, have to be used as motivation to keep going forward and keep trying to do what's right for the victims and the victim's family. Um, you have to turn pain into motivation. And Bockelman says Gunter's case is now moving to a grand jury. Adam Katrina, back to you.